Hello everybody, just a quick update before we get into the forecast. We are holding steady at 55% paid off for my Reiki Apprenticeship Program. Thank you everyone so much for your support. Now on to the forecast. Hello there Virgo, thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of February 13th through the 19th. What we have coming up for you, Virgo, on Monday is the Five of Cups. Now, the Five of Cups just tells me that there's something that has happened that you're not so thrilled about. And so with the Five of Cups, you are adjusting your priorities and sort of switching things around so that um, that same thing doesn't have the chance to have as much impact on you as it did before if it would happen to come up again. On Tuesday... We have the Eight of Coins showing up in reverse. And the Eight of Coins in reverse just means you are not working on Tuesday. <laughs> you may be going into work or you may not. If you do go into work, not much is getting accomplished. And if you're staying home, once again, not much is getting accomplished. This is not a day when you're going to go do volunteer work somewhere. This is not a day when you're going to do much of any kind of work. Okay? Interestingly enough, I'm not hearing a lot about fun relaxation type stuff so i think this is just going to be a day of kind of being quiet and just chilling out um, i'm not seeing you know any kind of snow skis or um you know water <laughs> water skis or you know hiking or um, really any kind of recreational activities so much other than what's happening at home or maybe close to home, maybe at a friend's house or something like that, but mostly at home. Moving on to Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Virgo, we have the Queen of Cups. This is somebody that you're interacting with. For most of you, this will be a female, but for a few, it will be a male. Queen of Cups is somebody who is very balanced emotionally. Um, she has a lot of insight. She may be highly intuitive. Um, this is somebody who um, they may not be the life of the party. They may be pretty intense, very serious person a lot of times. Um, when they tell you how they're feeling, you can trust what they're saying. Um, they are not always going to tell you exactly how they're feeling. Um, and I feel like, what do you guys need to know about this interaction on Wednesday? I feel like this person will be sharing how she feels about something with you. I'm not sure if that's going to be how she feels about you, but it may be something like, uh, maybe there's a new policy at work and she may be talking to you about how this affects her and how she feels about it or, you know, could be anything. But I do feel like when we see the Queen of Cups, she's going to be talking to you about something. She may even be telling you about her intuitive feelings. You know, you may be talking to her and she may be saying, well, I don't know, that just doesn't feel right. Or, you know, you should really uh, go for, you know, try dating this guy. He feels really good if you happen to be single and you're talking about another, about a guy that you've met recently or something like that. But just somebody that is telling you about their feelings on Wednesday, Virgo, is the bottom line there. Now, bum, ba, da, da. let's look at Thursday. Here we do have the Seven of Coins showing up. Seven of Coins does mean that it's a payday of some sort. So there's something that you have invested in, whether you've invested emotionally, whether you've invested financially. And you, when you invested in this, you knew that you should, uh, that you would be able to expect some kind of payback that comes back to you at a later date. Well, this is the payday. This is when that payback is coming back to you is on Thursday. All right, looking at Friday. Here we do have the Six of Coins, and the Six of Coins does tell me that you are asking for help with something. Now, this can be as simple as applying for um, a personal loan, a car loan, a house loan. This can be um, asking your friend to give you a couple of bucks to... Um, get lunch because you forgot to bring cash with you. This can be all kinds of different things, but um, one way or another, you're going to be asking somebody for help on Friday. Saturday, Virgo. Virgo, Knight of Swords showing up Saturday. Is this Virgo or is this somebody else? I know you guys are not air signs, but um, 
I am feeling like this is more talking about how you're going to be acting on Saturday. I think that you are going to be making um, a swift decision on Saturday. Um, the card is not reversed, so I don't feel like it's a bad decision or a rash decision, but I do think you're going to make this decision much more quickly than you normally do, and you are going to um, just go with it. So you may be doing something that's actually very spur of the moment, but definitely a dramatic change from your norm on Saturday. Sunday, what we have showing up for you is the Moon card in reverse. I much prefer this card in reverse to right side up. Um, what this is saying is that there's been a situation in your life that was fishy. You just knew there was more going on there than met the eye. But you were having a hard time putting your fingers on what that more was. So when the moon card shows up in reverse, what this is saying is that that more is floating to the surface. <laughs> Whatever information you didn't have access to and weren't able to figure out about, it is now right in front of you. You can't miss it at this point, okay? And also, when this card shows up, this tells me something else too. It tells me that whatever this new information is, it's significant. It's going to have you reevaluating um, how involved you want to continue to be in the situation that this information is about. So this may be something that changes um, the course of how you have been running in regards to whatever this is about. So new information coming up, possibly a course changer on Sunday for you Virgos. All right, so that's what I see for your week. I do appreciate all of you stopping by, hanging out, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I hope to see some of you here this week for Reiki sessions, some of you here this week for readings, and the rest of you I'll see on the next video. Everyone have a wonderful week. Peace out. Hello everybody, this is Amista, and I am coming to you today with something completely different than what you've ever seen here before, completely different than what I ever thought I would do. Um, I have been taking Reiki training, and I've gotten level one, and I've gotten level two, and I really want to take master training because already I've realized that there are other people out there who need to know how to be um, able to do Reiki for themselves. And I'm not able, I'm not qualified to show them that or to teach them that or to pass that on to them or empower them with that until I become a Reiki master. And so I was looking into a Reiki master program and I meet all the qualifications as far as that goes. I've been accepted into the master program, but the last little bit of money is what I need some help with, and I'm hoping that you guys um, will help me with that. Um, I need to raise another $3,000 to get myself into the program, and so that's where you guys come in. Um, what I'm doing is I am accepting very happily and very thankfully and very gratefully any donations that you may feel like you would want to give. If you don't want to, obviously, then don't. <laughs> um, but if you do feel like you want to help me to get into this Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program, any help that you, any of you and all of you send is great. Uh, no donation is too small. Um, I just ask that they're over like 35 cents because I think PayPal will take 35 cents of whatever comes in um, as a fee for collecting payment. But anything other than over 35 cents is no do donation is too small. So there's the corrected version of that. Um, and actually, I was looking with, I have over 7,000 subscribers. If every subscriber donated a dollar, I would be able to end this um, request. But 
So if you would like to donate, I would be extremely thankful. I would appreciate that a lot. Also, I want to do something for you in exchange for donating. So anybody who would donate at all, um, I would like to offer you 15 minutes of uh, free Reiki distant healing. In other words, I would send you some healing energy um, where you would not have to come to my house or we would not have to meet in person. Um, just like I do a lot of my readings by Skype or by phone, I can also send the healing energy without having to be right in front of you. We don't even have to be on the phone or on Skype when I do it, although I will want to touch base with you ahead of time to find out where you would like me to target that energy. If you have any particular thing you want to um, have worked on energetically and also to touch base after it's done just to let you know that I have sent the energy in to check in with you, see how you're feeling, that type of thing. Um, anybody who donates anything more than $50, what I would like to do is send you some Reiki energy. I would send you the same amount of minutes of Reiki energy as you send dollars. So say you donate $50, then I would send you 50 minutes of Reiki um, energy. Anybody who wants to donate and doesn't want to receive Reiki but knows somebody else that they would like to have the Reiki sent to, um, feel free to let me know that and we, you can gift that Reiki to somebody else and I will just touch base with them, make sure I have permission to send them that energy and um, talk to them about where they would like it targeted and all of that just like I would if I was sending that to you. Um, so that is what I've got going on and I really appreciate, like I said, all of the help any of you can send. I know not everybody can send, not everybody will want to send help, um, but I am hoping that there will be enough to get me into this quickly, quickly, otherwise I would probably have to wait, I don't know, six months, a year before I had this kind of uh, money to get myself into there and I don't want to wait that long. I want to be able to empower people more quickly than that. Um, so what I'm doing is I am in the description section on underneath the video. I'm going to send you a link where you can donate and you can choose whatever amount you want to donate. And um, I will probably also have that um, showing in the video as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for listening and for giving this some thought, some prayer, some attention. And um, thank you everybody who actually does donate as well. I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Peace.